we're going to look at the split and join tools very quickly. So I'm going to pop in a regular line here and I'm going to use the split tool to cut this into two parts by hovering over line when it goes red and then clicking. Now you can see that this is two separate pieces, quite straightforward. What I can also do though is use the join tool to sort of glue two pieces back together. Now they operate as one. When we have two pieces, we can also just sit them together, select both, right click and come down to make group. And this gives them somewhat of a relationship. It allows us to move them around together as one piece and do some other things. But if you double click on it, you'll notice that they're still two separate pieces. So this is fine for something like lines, but when you want to add fills, then it can be, get a little bit messy. So to illustrate this, I'll come over to the side and I'll draw a shape here. I'm going to grab my split tool and I'm going to click across in two places. So now we have two pieces. Now, if I pull these apart, I can see that they're definitely two shapes. That's fine. And if I was to select both these objects and put a fill on, everything's covered and that's fine. I can still pull these apart or rotate them around. However, if I was to then cut out other pieces, so I just had a straight line that didn't change direction. Now, we have three objects. These two have fills because they have a perimeter that creates an area within, whereas this is just a separate line. Now, if we wanted these to come together, just simply grouping these wouldn't do anything for us. We can move them around as one piece, but there's no relationship at the joins to be able to fill the whole of this shape. So what we're better off doing is using our join tool. So now we can click from line to line and make this one solid shape and we can fill the entirety of the center. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I commonly use this tool for. Uh, with plants, sometimes you want to put them in groups and it looks messy if we have multiple lines going through the center. So what we can quickly do is click on the exterior connecting points around the object and then we can come back and, and delete the internal areas. And from here you could glue them together if you wanted to. And this would get me on my way to doing a, a rudimentary planting plan for the contractors. Another situation where I commonly use this is in construction detailing. So here I've got an example of some paving uh, on some mortar, which is on some concrete, which is on some crushed rock, which is on some soil. And this might continue for another five meters or something like that, and, but it's going to be the exact same construction method. So I might want to finish it here and show that it would continue. Uh, we can do something like drawing a break line, which might look something like this, and then deleting the objects on the other side by using our split tool. And we could also just leave the ends open. Instead of having this solid line down there, we could use our split tool to split. And then we could go back through and delete out these bits that we've split off. And now as there's no ending line, it gives us the impression that that would continue on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you need anything.